We might follow our reason. Our instincts. Or our friends. Sooner or later, all of them deceive us. Trust no one, they say. Especially not yourself. There's somebody back there! The name. Tell us the name. Lysander! What? So the hell's with you, witch! You slew Eleanor. No! That's not... what happened to me? She must tell us the name! What are you talking about? What name? Tell us what you know, this instant! What I know? What name? Too bad, you leave me no choice. My friend Muratori will make you talk. Tell us the name! Uh, the name! Wh what name? Uh, uh, I don't know any name! I've always known what I want out of life. To sleep the days away under the sun. I just wanted to live. No more, no less. But the death of the princess changed everything. They think I murdered her. And they might be right. Maybe it doesn't even matter. You come into this world as a nobody, and you leave it as a nobody. They'll put a rope around my neck, and my neck will break. But one question still haunts me. By the Nameless One, what happened to me? I don't know why you're here. But I have a feeling you shouldn't stay. How did you manage to free yourself? You biggins don't know how to lock up an anger show. We have company. Hey! That could be useful. Ah! 
This one will be grateful that he doesn't have too much to carry on his way to the realm of the dead. Here are the keys. So, what's this name, eh? The name that Four Eyes was asking you about. You mean Lysander? I call him Four Eyes. Maybe you should just tell him what you know. What's your name? I am Norim. Just Norim? No son of? Just Norim. So why are you here? I was trying to protect your country from the dragon. Fight fire with fire. Or oh, so I thought. What dragon? The dragon. The golden one. He whose deceitfulness is going to devour us all because we've become blind to the eternal fight. Ah. Oh. Let me tell you a secret. Friends, hello. I love secrets, but I would be eternally grateful if you could free me as well. Please open the lock. I'm innocent, as innocent as a man my age can ever be. Why are you wearing that ugly iron collar? Uh, you're right. It doesn't match the shirt, does it? Why are you locked up then? If only I knew. I'm a mage from Alantha, no less. Obviously, reason enough to brand me a spy and throw me into the dungeon. The name's Zerberan, from the house of Florios. Al Anfans can't be trusted. The dragon sent him, I tell you. What brings an Alanfan to the country of his enemies? The weather? The landscape? <laughs> the women? I'll open the lock. We could use some help. Wonderful. Now I only need to get rid of this collar. None of the keys fit, and we haven't got anything to break the lock. I thought we biggins didn't know anything about locks and chains. You don't talk much, do you? My friends say I talk too much. Seems like those times are over. Let's see if we can find the key for this fashion disaster. Hold it right there! The chandelier! Cut the rope! to the door. And the one to my iron collar? Excellent. Here I was thinking I'd never be able to cast a spell again.
More guards. So much for escaping. Wait. I know how to stop them. At least for a while. Open the cell doors. Get out of here! So, what's this name? The name Amber Glasses was asking you about. Amber Glasses? That was my friend, Lysander. Amongst my people, friends drink together instead of torturing one another. Each to his own? Why did they lock you up? They say I killed someone. A princess. And? Did you? I don't know. And where does this name come in? I don't know. You don't know much, do you? Did you know the princess well? Her father, Count Urias, had taken me into his service. Lysander knew her better. Her and her bed? In a manner of speaking. Count Urias? Never heard of him. He was a hero. A mage who rendered great services to the Horatian Empire. The Empress herself gave him the title of Count. But more than that, he's an explorer. And he has a penchant for exotic peoples. Forest men, lizard folk. Sounds more like a villain. Take the blasted wooden sword already! Why are we dueling again? I don't know, is it really important? I think you insulted Eleanor. That's not true. We were drunk. All I know is, I challenged you to a duel. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. Leave them be, I want to see them fight. To the fifth hit! All right, to the fifth hit. At last. <sighs>
Stop blast it! So whose honour is restored now? Who knows? Come on, Eleanor, let's prepare the lamb. Oh, how I missed all this. You actually look like a hero. <laughs> I'm impressed. Those years of training really paid off. A hero? That's the last thing I want to be. I was hoping you'd say that. We should do something naughty like we used to. You know, Father Okadiki has no teeth left at all. We should take advantage of that. There's no hope for you, you know. Have you been to see Urias? He wants to talk to you. Oh, let the Count wait. I'm enjoying the sun. One thing at a time. Aurelia? Who's Aurelia? Now I'm curious. No, enough talk. I'm going back to Nitha. I need to find out what happened. But you don't have to come with me. Why not? I've always wanted to see the bridge of St. Telion Mel. The gods greet you. If you're ever wounded, come to me. Ah! You don't look like you made something out of yourself. Why am I not surprised? You always wear a scapegrace. Thought the gods did bless you, huh? But eventually, the things that matter are neither beauty, nor strength, nor agility. What you need are proper skills. You need to haunt them, then haunt them again, and when that's done, haunt them some more, every cursed day. And I'm certain you still stumble into your duels completely unprepared. How many times did I tell you to get yourself a proper belt? Do you really prefer to rummage around for bandages and potions in your backpack in the heat of battle? Belts! Very important! I see. And now you're rambling around with this... this... southern swindler. Zuberan of the House of Florios. This, signore, may be a different thing in regards of sorcery. Fire magic, for example, requires a great courage. But you can't rely on that alone. You need to study, study, study each and every spell. Fire spells are overrated anyway. Sadly, that's what those imbeciles prefer. Brute force, the easy way out. The subtlety of our fine art eludes them. Surely, some spells require a strong body, like the Corpo Fesso. What usually counts, though, is your inner strength, intelligence, presence, courage. And this imp, coarse, lumpen, like a butcher. Well, I'm sure he is proficient with a lumbering cleaver, but can he handle a bow? You need to train each and every weapon. Yes, that is hard work. Very hard work. At least, tell me you still remember what I taught you about defending yourself. No. If you face multiple opponents, you can only parry the one who strikes first. So, what again is crucial to evade more attacks? Leg work. Of course, you forgot all that. Ah, my words are wasted on you. Go and find whatever end you may deserve. Ah, oh, not in the best of moods today. Not today, Dona Missanti. Trouble? You know, I've always got a bed for you. If you've got a shiny silver coin for me. Any news? You could say that. Count Urias's daughter is dead. Murdered. Such a pretty girl. Wait, didn't you know her? Yes, I knew her. No wonder your face is as long as a fiddle. Her murderer is to hang the day after tomorrow. Priors curse him. Princess Eleanor was always kind to us.
Do you know anything about Lysander? The alchemist's son? The sea took a ship for the south yesterday. To Mount Beller, I believe. No wonder he wanted to get away from here. He was very close to Princess Eleanor, wasn't he? Where's Count Urias? He disappeared. No one knows where to. He didn't even stay for his daughter's funeral. See you someday, Donna Miss Auntie. May Travia be with you. Maybe we should get some gear first. And a drink. You'll need weapons in the wild south, and mine are the finest.
so? So? Alricho. You? Shouldn't you be swinging from the gallows by now? They found me innocent, as I am. Be that as it may. What do you want from me? Where's Aurelia? Is she in Nitha? No. Horatio says she disappeared. And the princess? She's already in the tomb of the Calamars. They say the clerics had some trouble putting her body back together. Anything else? I need equipment. And now? Let's head for the cemetery. Great plan. We can dig ourselves a grave, just in case.
So many tombs. The tomb of the Calamals must be here somewhere. Die, will you?
die! This tube is fascinating, but... It must be one of the others. Crypt lice! I hate crypt lice! the blasted holes.
Crypt lice. I hate crypt lice. Close the blasted holes!
This is her coffin. Yes. But there's nobody in it. Yes, I can see that. Can you smell that? It smells of rum. Why would it smell of rum? There's something here. Some kind of stone. I know that stone. Lysander gave it to the princess. We'd better leave. Next. Let's move on. There are the murderers. They match the description. Murderers? We're no murderers. Anyone who breaks the law in my country is a murderer. Imp. Imp? Who are you? Alricio Lasca, bailiff of Mitha. The law is my brother, and my family is sacred to me. I assume you intend to take us back to prison? Your heads, preferably. My dogs aren't too keen on dragging corpses around. I am a Florios. My family is wealthy, if you wish. I do not. I'm also a mage. My services are not needed. Go get them.
I'm beginning to get the impression that I'm not terribly welcome here. We might as well have targets painted on our backs. Better lie low for a while. Across the border, to Mengbilla. Where the poisoners and slave hunters run rampant. A good plan. I agree to accompany and protect you on your journey, provided you first aid me in a, well, rather personal matter. Why did you leave, Alanfa? The war washed me ashore here. The naval battle of Frigaios, to be more exact. Such a shame. We outnumbered you Horasians by 30 ships. A needless war. What kind of personal matter? Bellarita of Droll, the fairest lady in the world. A baroness, actually. We were rudely interrupted before our night was over. In this country, they don't seem to know that a grandee always gets to sleep in. You want us to help you have a tryst with a baroness? A grandee never leaves things unfinished, certainly not in bed anyway. And Bella Rita is keeping my staff for me. Whatever. Help me to get to Mengbilla and I'll take you to your baroness. Excellent. So... You're an Alanfan grandee. Zuberan of the House of Florios. Perhaps you'll follow me to Alanfa someday. I'd like to thank you properly for your help. We'll sip wine from polished goblets and hunt down escaped slaves. My family has the best wines and the most handsome slaves, male or female, whichever you prefer. So, we'll find your Baroness in Doral? Yes, the poor girl. She's simply pining for me. We should get moving. Wait! Every Dragon Slayer team needs a leader. I'm the oldest here. And a dwarf. Old and runty. Even slave traders would reject you. Follow me or don't. I'm leaving for Mengbilla. Right now. There's your leader, Dwarf. I don't have a pot belly like that. We should take down all the notices. And avoid cities in the future. Out of the question. I'm going to Droll. Hmm. I've got two acquaintances at Droll, Sash. They're... 
Well, they might know a way of getting us into the city, unseen. But they're a bit... stubborn. Dwarves? Yes. What do you want? Leave it to me. What do you want? We'd like to learn something. Take a look around, but be quick about it. I haven't got time. Why the hurry? I need to see Master Yorius and confess that I lost his staff. A magic staff? What do I know? It's a staff with a mascot on. My cousin was supposed to bring it to me from Sicklethorn Forest. They say a wood troll lives in Sicklethorn Forest. I guess I'll have to go myself and look for the staff. And my cousin, of course. What is this Mascaron staff? And what does the mage want it for? Who knows what mages want, eh? We could look for your cousin. We've got all the time in the world. We do? For a certain fee. Great. I'll pay you three gold ducats if you get me the staff undamaged. And your cousin. Of course. Look in Sicklethorn Forest, on the road to Gravina. But be careful if you light a fire. The forest is swampy, and swamp gas is highly flammable. What do you have to offer? So long. Hey, I know you. 
But from where? You don't know us. Yes. Now I know. There's pretty paintings of you all over town. Can you spare a farthing for a God's fearing old man? Go to the nameless one. What's this world coming to? Fix greet you. I'll come back any time. What do you want? We'd like to learn something. Looks like we found the cousin, but where's the Mascaron staff? And what kind of creature leaves tracks like these? Those feet must belong to a giant. We should slay it and earn ourselves a reputation. Didn't the merchant mention a wood troll? Perhaps someone mistook the Mascaron staff for a relative. You mean the wood troll took it? We should slay it and earn ourselves a reputation. Too bad!
Fetch greet you. You're welcome any time. The best steel, far and wide. What is it? An elf, a human, and a dwarf are wading through a river. The elf says this ford is deep. The water comes up to my chest. The human says the water comes up to my neck. The dwarf says nothing. <sighs> Look who's back, Baal. Our friend Norim. How goes the dragon hunt? I bet you return so you can finally pay off your debt to Cherestelli. This, my friends, is Kadarman. The silent one is Baal. They're both sons of the Honorable Kadrim. May Angros guard his spark. Come, play a game with us. What's the game? It's simple. Baal writes a number between one and seven on a piece of paper. Like two, for instance. Then you guess whether the number is odd or even. How much do you wager? Odd or even? Odd. You take no chances. Very smart. Bow? Two. You lose. Did you just mention a dragon hunt? What's his name again, Norim? Fornenfur. He's got my axe. My axe! We should hunt him together, my friends. He's got a horde in the islands. I'll share the treasure with you. You'll be rich! We have to get into draw. The mouse wants to slip into its hole, but a kitten guards it. There are many kittens in draw. We could certainly help you, but we're still waiting for a shipment. We don't mind waiting. We're getting richer with every passing hour. But I suppose you can't afford to wait. I think I know what comes next. A good friend promised to bring us a gift. Maybe you'd like to remind him. A dreamweed shipment from Mengbilla. Dreamweed? A nice little pastime from the south. I would have recommended Ilmen Leaf, though. Find out what became of it. Then we'll take you into the city. Your merchants? More or less. What do you trade in? The only thing that's worth trading. Money! 
and a few other things. We'll get your shipment. Our friend lives west of here in Thenesh. Let's hope he doesn't put up a fight. Let's go. Ah, customers at last. And what did he say? He said, these aren't the druids we're looking for. What? Rubbish. All that blasted trouble for nothing. Hey! What do you want? We're just looking around. Oh, I'm in trouble now, right? Kill them all!
No! Come here! Back to those madmen. Vex greet you. House of Gareth will die out. That strumpet on the throne is as barren as a dead tree stump. Signora? The gods be with you. What do you want? Leave it to me. Back already? Your shipment. Thank you, and our dear friend. Eaten by wolves. You've got talent. Our cart is ready for you. We can take you into Droll unseen at any time. And out again. Thanks. Ah, finally some good-natured faces. That was sarcasm. How is Baroness Bellarita doing, with her husband being dead and all? 
Ah, it's getting worse all the time. They're saying now that the Baron was actually poisoned. Terrible. Of course, the Baroness is quite upset. Understandably so. And who can say if her life isn't in danger as well? Not to worry, though. Her uncle's bodyguards won't let her out of their sight. Any news? That depends on who you want to believe. They say that people have been disappearing for a while now. Young and handsome people. Rumor has it that some of them come back after a while without their souls. Do the gossips also happen to know who's behind the disappearances? The flying foxes, maybe. The troop of bandits. That would surprise me. As far as I know, the foxes no longer fly. Thanks. Ah, customers at last. You'll find the best weapons and armor in my shop. Healing potions, tinctures, poisons, I have it all. Help yourself, senora. Back already? If you like games, perhaps you'd be interested in one with more compelling stakes. The risk is high, but so is the profit. If you're interested, don't hesitate to visit us in our villa in Kadrim's Valley. Rose, my baroness. She's a little on the thin side. And who's that with her? A bodyguard protects her day and night. I mustn't be seen, or the whole city guard will be after us in an instant. Is there something you forgot to mention, perhaps? We have to get rid of him somehow. In a lawful fashion. The only thing worse than a war with Alantha is peace with Alantha. We'd like to learn something.
worse than those rats. They're gonna devour all of the hanging gardens. Would you like us to slay them for you? With swords? Nonsense. That's what traps are for. If only I knew where the critters have their nests. Gardens are as fascinating as ever. Yes, it's a shame they're in such an awful state. At night, they're a lover's retreat. And by day, the young lads trample all the roses when they duel. Dueling is allowed in the park. Welcome to the Horasian Empire. We discovered a few rat's nests in the park. We can show you where to place your traps. Oh, there are still some kind souls left. I'll set the traps at once. Stay back! Draw your weapon! What? You won't touch my sister a second time. You're... Amelia? But I thought... Excuses. Have you no honor? I challenge you to a duel. You question my honor! That could be useful. I promised you I'd come back, and here I am. We can't stay here. My uncle has eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me at my country estate. A country estate? Sounds reasonable. You know, we could just leave him here. 
he'll be here soon enough. Oh, I'm sure he will. Oh, I don't know about you, but I don't trust that wizard any further than I can throw him. You can say that again. We should... I, I mean, it can't hurt if we leave now. What? My doves have flown over there. The bailiff. Go get them.
But you little dove mage! Bellarita, she's a baroness. You have no right. Keeping company with murderers makes you a murderer too. I'll burn out her eyes and ensure that her lust never again makes her stray from the righteous path of Prios. What happened? What's the bailiff doing here? It's a long story. A good story, actually, but we don't have time. We must rescue Bellarita. I hope you had an enjoyable night. Oh, almost as enjoyable as that night on the Black Orchid. A Minivatu slave girl lay on my left, and the captain's daughter on my right. Outside, a jealous Donna Anbright was clawing at the door. I would tell you more, but, well, no. All right, we'll rescue her. Are you sure, Biggin? This smells like a trap. Since when does that stop us? She's in trouble because of us, so we'll help her. Thank you. Madam, leave it to me. You'll be satisfied. with you. Take a look around. Shapely neck! Crack! If we're fast enough, we can stop them before they kill Bellarita. And if we're not? Then we'll return the favor. 